The next president is going to have to lead on the economy and jobs in a historic way. And there's one candidate in this race who's unmatched in his skills and experience and talent when it comes to turning around this economy and growing jobs, and that's Mitt Romney. And I'm proud and excited to endorse him for president of the United States. I believe he's going to be our party's nominee, and I think he's going to be a transformational and great president America for this country. America cannot survive another four years of Barack Obama, and Mitt Romney is the man we need to lead America, and we need him now. That's why I'm here. He brings that great private sector experience, and he brings the experience as governor of Massachusetts knowing how government works. Not a legislator trying to figure out how to use executive power, but an executive who's used executive power will use it to make American lives better. That's why I'm endorsing Mitt Romney for president of the United States. Throwing all of my support behind Mitt Romney for president. Why? You know, this was something that when I look at the focus of what every family cares about, it's jobs, the economy, and spending. And what I want is someone who is not part of that is Washington. What I wanted was someone who knew what it was like to turn broken companies around. Someone who had proven results by improving a failed Olympics that ended up being a great success story. And someone that knows what it's like to make a decision and lead, not just make a vote. And Mitt Romney is that person. And I think now more than ever, we need someone that has the leadership to deal with a broken Washington in a way that we can get things done. And as governor of Massachusetts, you know, what we saw is he balanced his budget and he cut taxes 19 times with an 85% controlled Democrat legislature. That says a lot, and it's something that we need from a good conservative. Tell the viewers, who are you endorsing, sir? Well, I'm going to support Mitt Romney. I, I've thought about this very hard. This is an extraordinarily important decision for the Republican Party. I believe it is absolutely critical to defeat Barack Obama in November. I think our country would be in dire straits domestically and internationally if he gets another four years. Uh, and I think Governor Romney is the person who can best lead the party, best articulate our conservative uh, principles. Mitt Romney. I think he's a results-oriented conservative. I think he's uh, the best uh, leader to get America back on track, to create jobs, to get this national debt under control. And uh, I'm delighted to be supporting Mitt Romney. Uh, and I look at the key issues in the race, which is creating jobs, doing something about this uh, horrific national debt, and having a strong leader who will uh, turn America around and regain our confidence around the world. Uh, Mitt Romney is clearly that guy. Marvelous record in the blue straight, great private sector experience in creating jobs, and uh, has been an optimistic, results-oriented conservative. Honor, real honor and privilege to endorse Mitt Romney. I've gotten... <laughs> But Mitt is tough, he's smart, he's sharp. He's not going to allow bad things to continue to happen to this country that we all love. So, Governor Romney, go out and get him. You can do it. Up to this point, you, have been, you had not jumped into the primary race. Are you endorsing Mitt Romney then? Well, I am going to endorse Mitt Romney, and the reason why is not only because he's going to be the Republican nominee, but he offers at this point such a stark contrast to the president's record. I mean, look at the president's record. This is someone who has run the country not very well over the last three years, but has no experience beyond that doing that, at the same time as he has no experience with the private sector or, or the free enterprise system. In Mitt Romney, we have a candidate, an alternative, that in addition to being successful as a governor running an important state in this country, has also been successful in the private the sector and offers a very clear alternative to the direction this president is going to take our country. A good deal of time with Mitt Romney and his staff recently going through our country's fiscal situation, talking about just what it's going to take to get the country back on track. And I am convinced that Mitt Romney has the skills, the tenacity, the principles, the courage, and the integrity to do what it takes to get America back on track. Mm -hmm. So I believe that he's the right person for the job. Mm -hmm. And I think this primary has been productive. I think it's been constructive up till now. I think it's made the candidates better. But I think we're entering a phase where it could become counterproductive if this drags on much longer. And so that's why I think we need to coalesce as conservatives around Mitt Romney and focus on the big task at hand, which is right. defeating Barack Obama. The party to get behind Governor Romney. And uh, she was reminding me, Kenny Rogers saying it's time when to hold him, it's time when to fold him. Well, I think it's time for people to all get behind this good man. And they've, some of them have waged a very good fight. And I'd say that about some of his opponents. 
but uh, we're so convinced and mainly because we've known Mitt for a long time that he's the man to do this job and get on and win the presidency. Uh, Mitt Romney is hitting his stride. Yeah. Mitt Romney. Yeah. He, is, he is speaking with clarity, with conviction, with the heart and the mind together, which is what conservatives want to hear. They're looking for that, and, and Mitt is stepping forward at the right time. And we're seeing the differences between, as he, as he says very eloquently, the difference between where this party is going to go. Is this going to be a center-right coalition that Ronald Reagan put together that has governed this country so well for so long? We found our stride in 1980. It took us a while with Ronald Reagan. Mitt Romney is that voice is the man, is the time.